Hey bookshapes, welcome welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be doing yet another book haul. I feel like, I, well, I know I did. I just uploaded a book haul like two weeks ago and I bought more books. I need to stop. I have, I, I, I'm addicted. I'm an addict. Hello, my name is Kiana and I'm addicted to buying books. I, it's just like, I can't help myself. And I don't, it's just like, I see... <laughs> I'm making excuses. I'm making excuses, and I should really stop making excuses. But it's not gonna it's not gonna start today. So maybe sometime next week or so. But I went to Books a Million, probably some from Target, and yeah, Books a Million, Target, and I know I would, I should have felt myself driving to go to Barnes and Noble. I went to Barnes and Noble. Thursday I drove an hour away an hour and a half to Barnes and Noble just so that I can get Magnolia Park I could have ordered the book I could have I didn't want to do that I wanted the book today so I went and got it that day and I got a new camera if you can't tell but um yeah I got one <laughs> Seventeen new books, and I'm going to share with you guys what I got. Now, the first book I got is called The Perfect Marriage. Um, I'm currently reading this one for a video that I'm filming. Uh, reading books outside of my comfort zone. I'm reading this book right now. It's about this married lawyer. She's a um, defense attorney, and her husband is being charged for the murder of his mistress. So that's all I know so far. I just started reading this book like two seconds ago. So. Yeah, that's this book. Now, I was so, so, like, I really, I don't like my books a million. And I'm going to tell you why I don't like my books a million. I live in Albany, Georgia. And my books a million, they, they get stuff in so last minute. And I'm going to show you what I mean by they get stuff in so last minute. Because in my last video, I pointed out that I had just got happy happenstance by, um, Tessa Bailey they had just got that book in they just got icebreaker in by Hannah Grace and yep but anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and show you I went to my books a million on the day of the release of the things we had from light yes I finished reading this book no I did not film a reading vlog on it this book is amazing like I absolutely love Nash and um what is her name Lena I'm bad with names. I love Lash and Lena so much. And I just finished reading this book like 40 minutes ago. But I went to um, Books A Million to purchase this book on release day. They didn't even have a book out. Like, they was like, oh, we don't know. We... They didn't even have it out. Told me to come back Friday. Like, no. I went to Target and picked this book up. Because one thing I know, Target's going to always have the book in stock. And it's going to be on shelf. So I want to pick this up. It's about Nash and Lena. Luna. Lena? Lena. Nash and Lena. But anyways, it's about it picks right up where um the things that we things we never got over in. Where um Nash got shot and yeah. It picks up there and him Lena is being the girl. I wanna say it was his brother Ed's girlfriend, which they say they best friend type junk. But we know, we know, we know. It picks up there with Nash and Lena. I absolutely love Nash and Lena. And then you get Waylay and Naomi and Knox and and Lucien. And like you get all of the characters that you got out of things we never got over in here. Like every last one of them are in here. And I, I am in love. And then, oh, okay. I cannot wait to Lucien and, um... Sophie book come out oh my god I cannot wait to September like that book I need that book tomorrow I cannot wait till that book come out I am I just need it because they they have so much oh my god they, the chemistry between those two is crazy like they chemistry is so crazy and I really want to know what happened for her to hate him and 
like i really want to know their story like i, I need to know their story like I, I i i in my hearts of hearts i need to know their story i cannot wait till that book come out and then it's gonna be purple so pink blue and purple i i cannot wait like <sighs> I'm in love and I can't wait. Like, I, I'm so glad that I picked up the things we never got over and read that book because Lucy Square did that. I need a new bookshelf. I need to stop buying books. But the next book I have is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. I want to read this book. I have a video that I want to film with this book. I want to read this book and see what this book is about. Like, so that video will be coming soon. Oh, hit myself in the face. That book will be that video will be coming soon. It's about these people that built the game or something. I don't know exactly what it's about. I picked it up for the video, so we're gonna dive into that sometime next week. So that's gonna be on my March TBR. The next book I got is A Little Life. A lot of people be talking about how sad this book is and how it touched on deep traumatic topics. And am I ready for it? No, because I do not like reading sad books. I don't like to cry. I hate crying. So I picked this book up because I feel like why not torture myself? Why not torture myself? So I got the little life and I've been looking at this book trying to figure out if I want to get it for the longest. And I did not realize this book was like 800 pages. Goodness gracious. But we're going to read this in the video as well. So be on the lookout for that video. The next book I got is The Housemaid. Now this video, this I everybody be talking about this book. It's another book that came out. I think like The Housemaid Have Secrets or something. I want to get that one as well. But for now, we're going to read this one and see what the hype is about this book. I am dying to know. And I feel like a lot of people who read this book either like it or don't like it. So I want to know where I'm going to end it on the spectrum of this book. So yeah, that's that book. The next book is part of a series. Now, I've been looking at this book every time I go into, Bar I'm not Barnes and Noble, Books a Million. And a lot of people be talking about how spicy this book is and how much smut it has. So, not only did I pick up the first book, I picked up the second book, Saint and Center. Well, I don't even know what order it go in. Um, maybe it goes like that. Who knows? Not me. Or maybe it's Center and Saint. Maybe it's Priest, Center and Saint. I will look it up and let you guys know but i picked up this series right here and i'm dying to read this book to see what what the spice is like what's going on in this book i cannot wait to read those three books to see what's going on in it now pack up the moon everyone say this is a sad book as well and apparently i'm going to be reading sad books for a week so be on the lookout for that video. Um, this book is about Joshua and Laura. Laura has some kind of disease that progressing and not to the team. She's going to pass away in this book. I'm ready to cry, apparently. So we're gonna be reading this. I got this one for um books and, no Barnes and Nobles. The next book is Do I Know You? And I think it's the same Arthur at Arthur's as um the roughest the roughest draft let me locate that book yeah it is oh it said i did all day and it said right there at the bottom <laughs> i did all. okay camera died but now the next book that i got um is a book that i've been hollering that i've been wanting for the longest like i've been yelling and screaming from the mountain top that i want to read this book i want to read this book i want to read this book and i finally got my hands on the no show by betha o'larry now i already read the flasher i was in love with that book that book was good to me i enjoyed that book but i really wanted to read this book right here i went to barnes and noble thursday like i said and they had it in the stock i grabbed it and i was so happy so I will be reading this book. Apparently, it's three ladies that went on a date with the strangers with this guy. He stood all of them up. I really want, I'm with, I really am interested in why did he stand them up? But a lot of people said the end of this book is very sad or something. I don't know. They said it made him cry. So, 
I'm interested interested in seeing why he stood up with the ladies and all that. So we're gonna be reading this soon. It might even get it on vlog, just like the flat share. So be on the lookout for that. Now the next book I got has to be the most typed up book, the most dislike, like I like you don't like book I ever read. Heard of. Haven't read it, but heard of. This book is Magnolia Park. Now, a lot of people like this book. A lot of people hate this book. They said that they can't do with this toxic relationship, but babes, it's 2013. Half of y'all in toxic relationship as is. Y'all probably going through the same thing, Magnolia. And I think it's BJ is going through, but y'all just too afraid to admit it. But <laughs> I am just, at least they're doing a wild reach, I guess. Not that I support any types of relationships. Please get out because it ain't worth it. I promise you. Your peace is worth more than that toxic guy. Like that mm, child. Anywho. But I wanted this book physically. Now you can read this book on Kindle Unlimited for free. They put all four of the books up there for free. And I was happy to see that. But I really just wanted the physical copy of the first books for right now. And if I like it then I might. I'm going to order the rest of them. I'm not driving an hour to go get the rest of the books. I'm going to order the rest of them. And I can't wait to dive into this. A lot of people say they like it. But, you know, it's fishing. It's something fun to read. Like, we, like, girl, you know not to deal with the crap these men be putting you through. Just leave them. Just enjoy this book and call it a day. Like, in the next book, I got my second Mariana Zapata book. Like, let's talk about that. Like, I got my second book the first book is i want to say from luke off with love i want not wait for it i really want that one but they only had culty and i heard a lot of good things about this one so i got this book i want to read it i haven't read any Mari mariana zapata book i just wanted them because like why not so i picked this up apparently it's a soccer a soccer player yeah it's about a soccer player so yeah i'm ready to read that one but i really want to wait for it so when i get my hands on that i might have to just order it and just bite the bullet and order the books and stop driving an hour away from books <laughs> the next one i got is part of your world i got this book mainly because um destiny destiny sitwell she was talking about the book and she read this book and she was talking about how she liked the books and she, it just put her on this um abby benz i have other books by her um that i didn't notice i had i have another one i just can't find it right now huh oh friend zone i have friend zone by her and i thought i purchased another book by her but i'm not even sure it's on this bookshelf somewhere i need to organize this bookshelf but i'm not sure which order i want to put the books in so for right now this is what it's gonna look like. I need a whole nother bookshelf because don't judge me. We're friends here and I'm finna just show you why I need another bookshelf. This is my desk. And that's not counting for this broken TBR cart that I broke a couple days ago. So yeah, that's this. I'm ready to read this one and see what this is about. The next one I got is like this. Everybody been talking about this book all over the internet for like the past couple weeks. And I was like, all right, you ain't got to beat me in the head no more. I'm going to go get it and read it. And it's the seven days in June. I I just need to know what's the hype about this book. I want I want to read it. Like, and I just want to read it. I want to read it. I just want to read it. That's it. That's all. Because every like I said, I've been seeing so many people talking about this book for the past couple weeks that I was just like, okay, let's go get this book and read this book. I've been seeing this book for too long. I just been constantly buying it and I got it in paperback. So seven days in June. Now I told y'all after I finished reading The House Across the Lake that I was gonna buy another Riley Saker book. Now, I was in Books Million today, and I was going to go ahead and get The Final Girl 
but I was just like, let me let me see. Maybe 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 it was a once off, and I don't want to just buy all his books at one time and don't like them. I got a lock every door by Raleigh Sager. Apparently, this girl is house sitting, and some happened. I don't know what happened. Some happened, but we're gonna find out what happened together. So, lock every door by Raleigh Sager. Now, the last book I got was like the most hyped up book a while ago, and it was Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. Soccer Romance, Found Family. I'm ready to dive into this. Books Million just got it in stock, so I grabbed it. But those are all the books that I purchased in the last three days. I'll see you guys in the next two weeks with another book haul. But those are the last book I purchased in the last two or three days. So let me know some books down below that I should buy. I mean, that I should read on my Kindle Unlimited for free. Not buy, because we're not going to spend any more money for the next couple of weeks months maybe maybe but just comment down below let me know some books that you're interested in let me know if you have any other books if you read any other books what your thoughts on any of those books are and i'll see you guys in my next video peace